Hello and welcome back to a new video. I thought for this week's video I would share with you some outfits that I've been wearing. We're talking super comfy, super casual, <laughs> super elasticated waistbands, <laughs> but hopefully not me wearing pajamas every single day of the week. So today is Monday. I'm going to share with you my outfit today and every other morning this week. I will link everything that I'm wearing down below as always, along with kind of like dupes and alternatives that should be in stock available for you to add to your lockdown wardrobe if you so wish. Um, but today, day one, um, I did the podcast today. I've sort of just been at my laptop. We've had a short little trip outside, but this is what I've been wearing. I'm doing an untucked number today. Um, this linen shirt is from Frame. I picked this up back at the beginning of the year, uh, kind of for our Sri Lanka trip. Wore it a load there, and it's just been really nice for summer. It's quite a bit stiffer than other linen shirts that I own, so it's got a bit more shape to it. And it's kind of almost that like dad going bowling <laughs> vibes. I like it, it looks really nice tucked in as well, but I've just worn it over some jeans today, and these are from Redone. These are the Comfort Stretch Redone jeans, so they are comfortable as hell. Like this waistband, ooh! I could fit a whole hand down there. It's a delight. And then I've just been wearing it with my Teva sandals. Um, so it's just a very like casual, yeah, sort of a bit dad on holiday vibes, really. <laughs> but it's supposed to get really, really super hot this week. So I feel like jeans are gonna be a no-no tomorrow for sure. Time to stick a bit of gradual tanner on. It's Tuesday and I have full face of makeup on. Um, I shot something this morning for like literally my dream brand collaboration. It should have come out by the time this video goes live, but just in case it hasn't, I won't mention the name, but oh my word, if you've seen it, I cannot believe I worked with this fashion retailer. Whew, calm yourself, woman. But today's outfit, I've changed out of those clothes and I'm in something that is so freaking comfortable. Oh yes, um, I'm head to ankle. Arquette, and um, this is the Arquette heavyweight t-shirt. Do not be put off by the name. I feel like that makes it sound fleecy and thick. And yeah, sure, it is like thicker than other t-shirts that I own, but I really love how it hangs. You get a nice like boxy, oversized kind of boyfriend fit, and it's an off-white as well. You get that kind of creamy vibe. Absolutely love it. Really, really enjoying this. I have it in black as well. Oh, I did my nails. One coat of bouquet, love and the toes are CND unmasked. Love it. And then these linen trousers, again from Arquette, I have them in the beige as well. Um, I managed to find them in a small now, which is great. And um, they are very elasticated. So I would definitely say like, if you're a small medium like I am, I'd go for the small and um, they fit beautifully and they're just so airy and cool and I just absolutely love them and then I've got my uh, Aviana flip-flops on. So quite a casual outfit and I think we're going to head to the park in a moment and I'm going to show you the outfit change that I'm going to make. There you go, changing it into bikini top vibes and this one is actually from ASOS. I haven't purchased something from ASOS for a very, very long time but my friend Reem was wearing a gorgeous bikini in one of her photos and I was like, Reem, where is that from? And it's the ASOS crinkle cut bikini. Um, it looks very much like the, the Hunzi G bikinis and swimming costumes that are like textured sort of fabric. Just coming closer you can kind of see that a little bit, like it's quite thick. And they cost like over £100. This is a much more affordable alternative. I have the bikini bottoms as well but I just thought for the park like maybe we'll just do a little top half number today, put on my SPF, time to slap it on get a good book. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab some wine. Mm. So it's Wednesday and I think it's going to be the hottest day of the year so far. The sheets are off. The bedding is being washed. We're making the most of it. In fact, I've kind of like signed off for the day and now we're just going to go sit in my parents' garden. I'm very much looking forward to it and I'm very much wearing an outfit that basically looks kind of like yesterday's outfit, if I remember rightly, um, but just a slightly different style of bottom half. So I've still got my flip flops on and then these are the Arquette shorts. So basically what I was wearing yesterday, the black trousers, but these are the beige shorts and I just love them. Um, I mentioned them in a podcast recently and Lily wanted to know if you could see my pants through them. I'm wearing black pants. I don't think you can see them. Ooh. I don't think so. Which is good because they're nice and light to wear but then thick enough that you don't have to worry about your pants showing underneath. And I've just got an Arquette t-shirt. This is just, this isn't the heavyweight one. This is just like their crew neck t-shirt. I think they're about 12 pounds um, in the white and a medium. It's really nice actually. And then I've also got my hat on. This is from, oh, is it called Avenue? Avenue, the label. 
Um, I saw Brittany Bathgate wearing this ages ago, like back at the beginning of the year, and I was like, oh, that looks amazing. And although I can't really see anything when I wear it, it's basically got like a wire in the rim. Let me come close so I can explain. It's got a wire in the rim, so if I was to go like that, it stays like that, and you can kind of have it up. <laughs> if you want, you can have it down. I just kind of have it out because I want like ultimate hat over my face situation going on. It's absolutely boiling today. And then underneath I have my black bikini again. Um, and yeah, just a very casual, very light and airy and breezy outfit. And I think later on we're gonna go down the beach and go for our first swim of the year. It's like our annual <laughs> swim of the year in the sea. And I'm basically just gonna wear probably the same outfit because I like the idea of putting these on when you've got like wet bikini bottoms on underneath because we're gonna be walking back. These aren't gonna be super horrible to put on when you've got wet bikini bottoms on, so yeah feeling this outfit. So we've skipped ahead a little bit here. It's actually the following week, it's Monday. And that is because Thursday was one of the hottest June days on record, which meant that I mostly spent <laughs> as much of the day as I could literally in my pants, like my underwear in front of a fan. It was that hot. Um, and so the outfit that I wore was very, very similar to the one that I wore the day before. Basically my linen shorts and a bikini top. I managed to get a couple of hours in my friend's garden, which was lush, but we literally had to sit in the shade and just drink water by the bucket load because it was that warm. Um, so it was the same old, same old for Thursday. And then on Friday, oh, we had the day off. It was really nice. We did a little walk around Bramber Castle and it was lovely, like the weather was still really, really good. And because it was more of just like a casual day, I will put the outfit that I wore here. Um, and yeah, it was super comfy, would recommend. Oh my word, these Lululemon shorts. I bought them to work out around the house. I was like, oh, I'll just wear them for like spin and if one day I ever get a Peloton, like handy for working out around the house in the summer. I've worn them outside. And I said I would never wear them outside. I was like, cycling shorts, no, thank you. Turns out they are the most ridiculously comfortable things. Um, and yeah, like perfect for just, yeah. I mean, I was, I was walking, I was hot and bothered that and then just a white t-shirt um, but I will link everything from the outfit down below because I posted it on Instagram stories and you guys were like yes <laughs> I think you're here for comfy clothing like I am um so anyway we fast forwarded to Monday today I'm doing the podcast with Lily she's gonna be shocked because normally I sit there doing the podcast we record normally about like 10 o'clock in the morning I'm normally still in my pajamas but no no today is different I've been up since six actually I thought today I would talk you through the outfit making process and I feel like today I kind of want to focus my outfit around this this is from with nothing underneath look at that it is like a light lemon linen shirt and um, the founder of the brand pip very kindly sent me this because i have the blue one that i just absolutely adore and i've been wearing pretty much constantly on my instagram so she very kindly sent me this one i think they've come out with a yellow and a like pale grapefruit pink um for summer but really really into this shade so i think i'm gonna wear this and then i'm not sure what denim to wear with it maybe like a cream denim maybe that's a bit too holiday e e i'm thinking maybe these jeans these are from acne studios and um, i recently did a piece of work with netaporte i know like that's it i'm retiring <laughs> and they loaned me these jeans and they were just so comfortable and i love the cut of them so much um that i went online i was like oh if these are in the sale i'm gonna buy them for myself and they were they were 50 percent off they're from their net sustain range and they're just such a nice vintage fit so i think those two together with my tethers is is like comfortable but presentable and a little bit summery. Okay, I ended up getting out three different shoe options. I'm not going out till later today, so I have like the rest of the day to mull this over. But I didn't know whether to go for flip flops or the tethers or like dress it up a little bit with the lock sandals. I'll try them all on and I'll let you know my favorite. Okay, so surprise, surprise, the lock sandals won. I just adore these sandals. Every time it's summer, every time I put them on, I'm just like, oh, these are so damn expensive, but I love them. They take every Every single outfit like to the next level like the tethers and the flip-flops definitely work this outfit made it a little bit more casual but I feel like these have dressed up a bit and I haven't done a lot of dressing up a bit recently so very much into them and um, but yeah these jeans love them they're like a slight kick flare 
at the bottom it feels like they're really quite comfortable around the middle um i will put the size that i have them in the description box down below because i can't remember off the top of my head it's either a 29 or a 30 um but yeah they're just like they've got a bit of space in them and i appreciate that and then the with nothing underneath shirts i get in a large just for that like very oversized fit and yeah i just adore them they are designed in london and they are made in portugal and i also wanted to reference the necklace that i wear in well every video slash every day um i don't take it off at the moment it's from missima and it is their like round curb chain can't remember the exact name of it off the top of my head but it's always linked down below for you um but yeah i've just been wearing that every day with my uh, these are my melissa joy manning hoops a slightly larger hoop than what i'd normally wear um, but yeah, I adore this outfit. Lily is going to be shook. <laughs> so it's the final day of this little like five outfit video. It's technically a Tuesday and now it is 17 degrees and raining. <laughs> like it's horrible. It's so horrible. The fan is like retired and gone to the corner. Welcome to British summertime. Um, so I'm thinking today I might actually wear this. Please excuse my hair, by the way, it looks terrible. I know it does, but I really want to spin later on and I could not be faffed to wash my hair this morning. This is just my equipment cashmere jumper. I think it needs a little bit of a comb actually, but I ended up throwing that on yesterday in the evening because I just got a little bit chilly. So I think I might wear that on top. And then I might do, I haven't worn my cream jeans in a while. So I think these are from Topshop. I might do those with a sandal. Like I love a fluffiest jumper with a jean with a sandal. Like jumper jeans and sandals is perhaps my favorite clothing combination. Sandals, obviously silly because it's raining outside, but it looks cute. If I do go outside, I probably would end up just wearing my bands. Ooh, they dirty. So there you have it, outfit number five. Um, so this is a equipment cashmere jumper. I've had this for years. It has really stood the test of time. I've got my miss and my chain. You know what I was thinking would look really nice with this outfit? My theory, like, biscuity colored like slightly loose like wool jumper i've got the matching bottoms that go with it definitely more of like a spring winter piece for me but i was like oh damn it i wish i got that out of the loft and kept it as part of my summer capture wardrobe because i think that would look really really nice very tempted to go back up there and retrieve it but for today we're wearing a bit of black i actually haven't worn that much black in the past week so going back to my outfit happy place and then these are Topshop boutique jeans um i think i had these from last summer or maybe the summer before but they're nice because they're quite spacious in the waist which i appreciate and then they've just got like a nice straight kind of a, a slim straight leg not like super kick flare or anything at the bottom and then i've got my tether sandals um yeah as i mentioned this is definitely more of an inside outfit if i was to be going out i would be throwing on my ganny you know the ridiculous raincoat i've got that's like a little bit zebra printy tortoise shelly and then probably like my vans trainers as well but i'm planning on leaving the house today it's grim so that is everything that i've worn for this extremely hot and then extremely kind of mild <laughs> week i really hope you enjoyed this video it was it was kind of fun to not just wear a tracksuit every day not gonna lie quite enjoyed it might keep up with this whole like wearing jeans working from home thing and um, everything will be linked down below for you along with like dupes for all of the outfits and anything that isn't available um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon for a brand new video bye